On a beautiful June 1st, Sunday, 2008, back to the tomato garden. Um, came out today, We uh, the last one is about a week ago. The tomatoes have shot up about three or four inches, but more importantly, we're having some wonderful, wonderful set of fruit. I took a fruit count, and uh, we'll post that right here on this video today to show you how many uh, fruit are on this peachy and on the early girl, and on, of course, our ace varieties. The red onions are kind of down on the ground. I broke the stalks, but I'm setting cure for a little while. And Maybe within this video, I'll, I'll actually give you an idea of what these onions look like and how much they weighed. We put out 18 plants this year. Uh, we're going to get quite a few pounds of onions out of it. Over here to our left, of course, is our ace variety. Doing very well. Uh, we're just a little behind on fruit set on it, but of course, these were planted on March 29th, so they're a week behind our row of early girl and stupichi. The one thing that uh, kind of really has me excited is uh, the variety, the heirloom variety stupichi from Russia. It's an old variety, bred for cold weather. And uh, that plant is sitting very, very well on our bottom layer. We have 26 set fruit on two plants, which I think is pretty darn good. I don't know if I can focus in here to give you an example of the fruit set right there. These plants are about 30, uh, you know, almost 40 inches tall right now. Uh, these, again, were planted on March 22nd. Getting over here to the other angle, let me see if I can focus in on that little hand right there. Just a really delightful group of, uh, of tomatoes. There's probably going to be uh, oh, 10 or 12 made right there in that area. Again, this is a, a new variety for us. It was came recommended, and I'm looking forward to doing it. Whoops, there's a couple that didn't show up the other day right here. Let's see if I can focus in on those. A couple of babies just, just showing up right there. Yes, sir. Hey, we're having a lot of fun here at Chuck's Garden. Remember the goal of this? I established a business plan. The object here is to show everyone that they can spend a little bit of time outside after a busy day at work, at their job, on a small patch of ground, this is about 300 square feet, and uh, I'm expecting to yield about a thousand pounds of tomatoes, which will be turned into a thousand dollars because my neighbors are all waiting for the tomatoes at a pound. Also, we've got right here in the patch where we used to have broccoli is our eggplant. We've got uh, six eggplant plants, and that's one of our favorites, which uh, we eat uh, throughout the season. So I thank you all for stopping by again today. Uh, on the next set, we'll uh, give you a chance to see what red ends look like. And, uh, we're going to hang those in the barn after pull them, and let them tear a few more days, and then we'll put them into cold storage. Our storage, and we draw storage. Again, from One Knee Ranch in Orland, California, this is Chuck and Shirley with a report. Whoops, I didn't tell you about the, uh, the ace tomatoes. Uh, we count tomatoes yesterday, set fruit on 12 plants, which I believe is three. So uh, it's not too bad. Uh, not quite as good as I was looking for, but not too bad at all. We're still pruning time and using soft hide to keep our tomatoes supported. Uh, to support the nice, heavy crop we're looking forward to. Thanks again. Look forward to talking to you later. Well, here we are back again, as promised, with the fruit count. Our two stapici plants, 26 fruit. Nine early girl was 63, and the 12 ace had 59 nice set tomatoes. Well, here we are back again on June 1st. Yes, I pulled Sacramento red tomatoes, the onions today. And uh, what I did is I actually bought uh, two six packs of, uh, of onion sets uh, back in the, uh, at the middle or end of January. And uh, there were a couple of extras in there, so we ended up with about 24 nice onions planted in three hills. Uh, one thing we love about our good old Sacramento reds is they do get some size. The onion over here on your left is uh, going to weigh in at about, oh, probably one and a half, two pounds. These are so sweet, you can't eat them like an apple. And boy, do they chop up, fry up well, great in salads, on hot dogs. Nothing better than a good old Sacramento red onion. You know, everybody talking about the economy, talk about a high cost of living. Uh, here's a perfect example of, I think, $3 investment, a little time and energy on my time, and we're going to have a nice uh, crop of onion to carry us through the summer to mix with our tail and cucumber salad and cook our omelets with and just have a wonderful time. You know, you can't buy food like this in a store. I knew what, knew, know what goes in it. There are no artificial uh, fertilizers here or anything else. This, these were just grown as naturally as can be. Those of you watching this video and following our series, go out and spend a little time in your yard. It doesn't take much. You could put this many onions in a couple of little barrels on the patio. The uh, aroma will really carry you through. It's a wonderful smell, believe it or not. Or at least we love it. Uh, well, we've been a little crazy out here. Start a little hard.